Hi everyone, my journal page and I want to have some fun with circles and some color so I just picked all kinds of circles this is the inside of a masking tape some uh, lid and some caps whatever and I have some black acrylic paint here now I can uh, just go over with my finger or I can spread it out and just let it pick the paint and just making a circle let's see let's do another one here and another one I don't know <laughs> let's put it here yeah moving to another one Okay, I'm doing it quite randomly, wherever I think I want it. And as I said, it's just going to be fun. And I'm going to color this <laughs> circles, as you can imagine. Yeah, moving to another one, just so I will have variation. Now you can color it with whatever you want, even felt pens, just whatever you have, have fun with it and color inside and in between, just whatever you feel like it. I think I will take the smaller one now. Yeah. And one here and I think I'm done. Now I've got lots of uh, paint here left over, so I need to use it. And of course my hand is dirty. Where did I put my notebooks with excess paint? <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Here is one. Let's pick one. Now I can smudge it or I can continue making painty papers with a pattern like this. Up to you. Just use the leftovers. Don't let it go to waste. I hope I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing. I'm just using the paint and creating more painty papers to have for other projects. As you can see, this is again leftover paint from another project. So that's it. I'm going to let this dry and then I will continue. I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my circles and now I'm going to start coloring and I'm going to play with some watercolors. You don't have to use watercolors, whatever paint you have, as I said, you can just color it with felt pens. Really, whatever you have, just have fun with it. I'm starting with some, I think, blue. I, yeah, I think I'll just start with some blue and... I'm going for the larger circles first, don't know why, <laughs> I really am doing it uh, for the fun of it, there is no, uh, I didn't have a clear idea what I wanted to do, I just knew I wanted to play with it. I've got some, this is a Pelican a watercolor kit and I have it for three decades, don't know if they are still making it and I have some metallic watercolors from the cheap store and I'm thinking that maybe I should add a little bit just so I will have some shine, glimmer, whatever, <laughs> like here. We'll see. Uh, let's do another circle. Uh, 
let's do this one you can use acrylics you can use water watercolor pencils or just the uh, color pencils it just it just doesn't have to be watery <laughs> so not all of my uh, black paint is dry as you can see it dragged some but never mind it will just give me variation in the color and I just picked another blue uh, here just to make again variation in the color so it won't be flat and solid color let's see what color do I want here let's go for this one you can probably hear my kids in the back summer they are on no school until the 1st of September so they are I don't know what to call it computer potato they are not couch potato <laughs> they are computer potato uh, let's see let's try and add some from this metallic don't know if it will show it's quite dark so I'm not sure it will show okay let's go to another circle let's do some I think purple now let's do purple here and I'm overlapping this one don't care don't care if they will bleed into each other just having fun let's see if I'll grab from this one yeah it will give it a little bit more variation in the color I'm so not an expert on watercolors I just like to how they spread and I know some of you are uh, afraid of them <laughs> because uh, you, uh, you feel you can't control them but there are some times that it just uh, benefits you when you don't control it. Of course there are uh, ways to uh, control watercolors but here I'm not uh, really uh, I don't really care about it so I'm just continuing and let's see got a lot of water here as I said so not an expert the only thing I'm doing is adding a little bit uh, another color to each circle so again not solid paint and completely flat that's the only thing I think I will do more of the purple I really like it let's do a smaller one here and as you can see because it's wet and it just doing they are bleeding into each other don't care and let's take some of this I'm really didn't even plan on the colors I'm just having fun with it Okay. I really like it. It brightened the page. This I don't know what it is. Carmine, it says. 
some of the <laughs> it's so old you can't see what is written here let's do another one Let's try to add from this metallic. I don't think the shimmer will show. It's too... These are too thin uh, in terms of pigment and... I have too much uh, color from the others, but I'm just using it more for the variation in the color. Okay, so just continuing wherever it goes it goes mm. what else do i want i don't know <laughs> Let's do this one. Okay, so I'm going to continue coloring in the circles, just doing the same thing over and over again, and I'll be back. Okay, so this is dry and I want to stencil on it, but before I'm doing that, I want to add more in uh, to the black and I'm just going to use a permanent black marker and just go in some places and make a little bit more distinct line and it doesn't have to be perfect just I'm even thinking of doing it to look more drawn by hand like this of course you don't have to <laughs> if you like symmetry and precise things then don't do it I'm just going to make it look a little bit more loose less perfect and precise yeah I'm already liking it a bit more less perfect Okay, so stenciling. I've picked uh, this stencil that I made, but you can uh, stencil whatever you like. I love uh, branches and leaves. I've got some gesso here and makeup sponge, and I'm using gesso just because I uh, prefer it to white acrylic paint. It's more opaque and the it's more has a more matte and chalky finish than acrylic paint that's the only reason so i'm taking some gesso on my makeup sponge dabbing the excess and starting to stencil now some of it is going to be on the white areas i don't care because i'm going to work on it later right now i'm just doing this placing it and i will probably even go again just to make the white more pronounced more distinct but right now th that's the only thing i'm doing just stenciling the shape that i picked and again it doesn't have to be 
uh, this it can be anything else that you want to use Of course, you can also draw by hand something that you like. It doesn't have to be even a stencil uh, or any focal point that you pick. Okay, I know right now it looks like a mess, but it will get better. <laughs> I only need for this to dry before I'm doing anything else. I want to use some markers and I need for it to, de to be dry completely. Otherwise, I will just ruin my markers and it doesn't matter which kind of markers you are using. Okay. Now I'm going to wait for it to dry and I'll be back. Okay, so this is dry and now I'm going to take a black a mar <laughs> permanent marker and I'm going to go over the shapes and I'm going to draw some kind of stem which I don't have in the stencil. I just cut out the leaves and again not really concerned about being precise just going over doing a contour line for each leaf and connecting to the stem like this now if I feel uh, it's not uh, white enough, I can go in with, with some kind of white marker and fill it. I can go and take more of the gesso and fill it. Really doesn't matter. Just, again, use whatever you have. This is an acrylic uh, paint marker. I can go like this in areas that I feel are not quite white or if I can I can put my stencil back and do another layer of the gesso whichever is easier for you I just want it white not even trying to be super precise about it and once this is dry I'm planning on drawing some a uh, lines again very loose I'm letting them be a little bit quirky like so I think it's more interesting again if you don't like things like this you can go and do straight lines you can do circles inside whatever floats your boat like so so I've got some work to do here on all of this and I'll be back okay I'm back and finished with this the only thing I want to add to this page is some white splatter so I'm taking a fan brush with water and I'm just going to add it here to the gesso if it didn't <laughs> dry on me and just so it will be a little bit runny just a little bit more water and some splatter
yeah i think this is it i like it very simple N not too much detail i really really like it so i'm leaving it as is i hope you liked it i hope you uh, try your hand at something like this and have fun with it so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now